Okay, so your Seesaw class has been created for you, but now what? We need to get the activity links from Seesaw, paste it into Google Classroom so you can share it with your students. So let's check it out. Go ahead, click on one of these links from your online summer teacher communication document. It'll open up one of these brilliant activities. So we're going to save the activity. And I'm going to assign it. I'll assign it to my class. I only have one class currently, so I'll assign it to that class. Once you assign it, you can view the activity. So far, so good. Now you're going to look for these three little dots, this little more button. If you select those three little dots, you can choose get student link. All right. This is just too easy, isn't it? We're going to copy this link. Now we're going to go into our Google Classroom that we have and go to classwork. It's probably a good idea to create topics and we'll do just weeks. So this is a week one activity. So week one topic. And now within this topic, we can, um, now that we have the topic created, we can create a material. It's a nice, easy way to share this link. So this one was called, let me see, Extreme Earth Volcanoes. Oh boy. And now we can add the link. Look at that. I'm going to paste it in. Add it. Ooh, this is lovely. This is great. Now I want to make sure I put it in the actual topic. So I'll put it in week one. And there you go. It's that easy. So now when students select this, it will go directly to the Seesaw activity.